Hey everyone, thanks for watching. So today I'm comparing 1080p and 4K video samples from the Canon 90D and the Canon R6. And right now I am recording with both cameras, switching back and forth between shots. Can you tell the difference? I'm still trying to answer this question. Is the Canon R6 an upgrade from the Canon 90D? So while I explain to you everything that I did to make this test, I'm going to show you a video that has a blend of 90D and R6, 1080p and 4K clips. Can you tell the difference? The footage for this test was filmed with the same EF 50mm f1.8 lens on both cameras. Both cameras shot in the 8-bit neutral profile. White balance on both cameras was set at 5000 Kelvin. The shots are at 24 frames per second with a 1 50th of a second shutter. In all of the test shots, the aperture was set to f6.3. To get similar aspects, I turned the 4K movie cropping on for the R6 and it was turned off for the 90D. And this wasn't intentional, but the ISOs were mostly the same. But in the fall leaves shots, the 90D ISO was 400 and the R6 was at 320. So let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons. On both cameras, the 1080p is not as sharp as the 4K and that is what we would expect. But there's not much difference between the 1080p shots on the R6 and on the 90D. I want to give 4K to the R6, but in these leaf shots, I can't really pinpoint why I want to do that. These colors though, both of these cameras are rocking these Canon colors and both of them look great to me. On these longer shots, it's hard to tell a difference. I manual focused on the door hinge in these shots. It is difficult to tell a difference between either camera in 1080p or 4K. At first you might think you see one as better than the other, but I had two barbecue pits running and I think the smoke was affecting the clarity. The 90D's 1080p and the R6's 4K shots look sharper than the other two but that's because they have less smoke in them. Overall, on color and sharpness, there's not a huge difference. But when we get into lower light shots, the R6 starts to pull away from the 90D. Both cameras were at ISO 3200. At this ISO, the 90D produces more noise. And it's not horrible noise, but nowhere near as clean as the R6 clip. In the darker parts of this shot, the noise from the 90D is more noticeable. And when I sharpen and increase exposure in these shots, you can really see the difference between these cameras. And this happens with all noisy footage. You sacrifice color, clarity, and sharpness to reduce noise. And the whole process is a balancing act. So I wanted to use DaVinci Resolve's noise reduction tool to clean up these images. I had to run the chrominance and luminance spatial thresholds up to 10 for the 90D footage. On the R6, I only had to push spatial thresholds to 4.2 to get rid of the noise. And for the record, I am working on a low light, high ISO video comparison of these two cameras. So back to the upgrade question. The 90D has a 32 and a half megapixel sensor, but it's not blowing away the R6 in video. Now on the other hand, the R6 costs as of now about $1,400 US more than the 90D and the colors and the sharpness are very much in line with the 90D. The R6 is not blowing out the older 90D either. I think that the R6's real advantage begins as the ISOs increase. So if you're a daylight shooter or a studio shooter, I think both of these cameras will be, both of these cameras will work fine for you. But if you're into heavy or creative color grading, then you may want to go with the R6. The R6 has 10-bit 422 log, and the 90D is limited to 8-bit. And if you think that you may be filming or taking photographs in low-light situations, then the R6 will probably be, it will give you more range. Let's put it that way. It'll give you more range. Well guys, I am working on a high ISO, low light video comparison test between the R6 and the 90D. So check back with my channel in a couple of weeks for that video and more stuff on the R6 and the 90D and photography and filmmaking. That is all that I have for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.